Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 6 of the My Player Career Mode. I do apologise if this doesn't go up on Saturday. I'm going to be changing the channel around a little bit. We're actually going to start doing some more Ultimate Team. But first we're going to jump into this game at Sheffield. I'm just going to quickly explain. We are going to be doing some Ultimate Team videos. I want this channel to grow and at the moment it just hasn't been getting anywhere. And it's been quite depressing actually. And I would like to try and grow this channel a little bit more by doing some Ultimate Team. So there's probably going to be 2 to 3 Ultimate Team videos a week. I might take off the fifth career mode and put it down as an Ultimate Team video. I really want this channel to get somewhere and unfortunately doing just career mode it doesn't seem to be working at the moment so we're going to try some Ultimate Team. I really would like to bring some Ultimate Team into the channel anyway. Uh, probably squad builders, maybe some player reviews and just general Ultimate Team videos and hopefully that means we can kind of push on towards 300 subscribers by the end of um, Christmas because as I said this channel is like gone from doing quite well to just doing nothing and that's ever since I've taken Ultimate Team kind of out of the schedule so I think that's part of the problem here is that we need Ultimate Team we're going to try a shot here though oh my god look at that for a goal what an absolute banger against Sheffield United oh my lord that is what you call top quality finishing from us look at that for a finesse shot first like second touch of the game I thought maybe we could get him as the keeper was way off of his line. And look at that for a finish. Absolutely beautiful. What a good way to start this game. That is Bradford City 1, Sheffield United 0. Well, they are only attack here. I actually want to point out, thank you to Ryan, who is a friend of mine from school. He did comment on one of the last videos saying that to hold RB, it means that your players will attack other players. So my players on my team will run forward and try and make a tackle. So thank you to Ryan for that. Very helpful. And uh, hopefully that means we can kind of do better in the next couple of episodes. That's a lovely ball through. Finesse. Oh, that was a poor finesse. We didn't manage to get the second goal. But I'm feeling like we could actually do some work here against Sheffield. Uh, not Sheffield. Yeah, against Sheffield United. That is the team that we're playing. Don't know how I managed to mess that one up. But so far it's been a pretty quiet opening 20 minutes of the game. Hopefully, I don't know if we'll get an international call up. I don't think we will at this stage. But I know there is some international qualifiers coming up soon. So maybe... We'll get a little break, which would be nice, but I'd expect to get a win here so far. You know, we've started off absolutely brilliantly, and hopefully we can continue that into the rest of the episode. Sheffield United are on the attack here. Again, it's been a, kind of a boring last 10 minutes or so since I last showed you a clip, and they haven't really been doing a lot. They have been pressing a little bit, but we've been doing quite well to keep them out at the moment. Hopefully, play, there we can see they're pressing now, which is what I wanted to learn, and so thank you to that. And then, oh, oh, that's another dodgy save there. A very dodgy save by Pickford. It would be nice if he could kind of take it quickly. We'll try and play it through. To Yates. Making an incredible run. All he's got to do is just knock it through. That's going to be offside. Yeah, that's offside. Made the run a little bit too late, unfortunately, on that one. They're on the attack here straight off the break. Press him, press him. They've squared it across goal. That's a dodgy clearance, but we've somehow managed to clear it, which is good. We're going to try and get on the counter attack here. I think it's Aaron McLean. Can he find some space? Down to me. Oh, we've got it still somehow. We'll tap it down there. Oh, they've played it back. They've completely ruined the counter attack. And Sheffield United have stolen it off of us. Higged on here. Oh, my God. The strength from him was incredible. Played through Campbell Rice. Down to Davis. What's Davis going to be able to do? Is he going to be able to cross it in? I don't know. He passes back out to Alcock. Alcock's looking for some space on the edge of the area. Our team need to close him down and press him really hard now and try and get the ball back. Because they are looking dangerous, Sheffield United. I'm not going to lie. The start of the second half, they've done very, very well and definitely looking to be a threat. Is it going to show us a replay of that? That was a very nice attempt, actually. Lovely technique as well that we've got on our finesse shots at the moment. And we are on a 9.6 rating, which is absolutely great. Try and play in that striker there. Can he cut back inside? Yes, Clark. Go on, son. Oh, probably should have run a little bit more with that. And tried to get into the box. But nonetheless, we're completely in control. And I definitely feel that the three points are going to be coming to Bradford City today. We've dropped again on our rating. Rating really got buggered at the end of that. Because we started off so well with that goal. And unfortunately, we didn't end it on the best of ratings. A 7.9 isn't the bad though. And we've gone up to a 71 overall, which is always nice. That's the end of the first game, guys. We got ourselves three points, which is really, really good. You know, we need to be picking up the points, as I said. In the last couple of episodes, we have been a little bit dodgy with that. I'm not too sure if we're going to play this next game or not. We are going to be playing the next game. And I believe after that there is an international break. I wouldn't imagine us to get picked. Oh, it's already gone. So that's fine. But we've got now a game against Preston North End. Let's have a quick look at where they are in the table. 
probably higher than us. They're second, so this is a really big game for us. Hopefully, we can pick up a win here. We haven't started off the best at Bradford, but our, you know, personally, we've done quite well. The team as a whole hasn't done so well. So hopefully, that can kind of pick up in this game. And I'll speak to you guys once we do get into the gameplay. Right, guys, we are into the gameplay now. Hopefully... We're going to be looking at getting a win here, although Preston are second, as I did say, in the table. So it's going to be a very difficult game to actually pick up three points in. Good, lovely little turn there. Can we get another opening goal? We almost did. Very nice run. Our guy's fallen over in absolute desperation. Try and get into a good position in the box. Get our head on that. We planted our head on it, and unfortunately, we didn't manage to score. I don't think we've actually scored a corner yet in this My Player series. So that would have been a good way to have started it but nonetheless good start hopefully we can continue this on throughout the game and hopefully Preston don't prove too much of a threat Clark. lovely little ball there we've managed to pick it up on the edge of the box I'm going to try and take a shot obviously and the shot's lovely little finesse shot and I think that was Mark Yates there, got on the rebound. It's not going to count, though. Oh, damn, that would have been a, such a good start to this game if we had picked up an early goal like we did last time. That is an absolutely worldy of a header, and unfortunately we've messed it up. That is literally probably the best chance we're going to get all game, I reckon. You know, that is an absolute howler to be miscontrolling that. Nimble footwork from the player there. Apologies again guys, the rest of the footage, I've tried to edit it up and it's corrupted all of it, which is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what is wrong with the Elgato at the moment, but it is starting to take the piss. The audio is so out of sync, so I do apologise for that. But the video is going to end here, hopefully you enjoyed it. We did actually win that game 2-0 against um, whoever the team was, I'm sorry I forgot. But hopefully you guys will enjoy the videos to come, I'm very sorry for that and I can't really do much about it. As you can imagine, you know, it's not... My fault, it's a technical issue and the old guy at the moment is starting to take the piss. So as I said, hope you enjoyed and if you did, then leave a like and I'll speak to you guys in the next episode. Thank you and goodbye.